I was considering making this video for a while, but I left off doing commentary over my videos for a while. Originally, it was going to be sort of a video about the things I've learned in my experience selling art. But I'm reluctant to because I don't want people to think I'm complaining. However, I think my experience could be insightful to someone else or just make someone else to not feel alone or as disappointed with themselves as I do. To start, I reopened my Etsy and that sent me in a downward spiral, honestly. Marking my art is hard because I don't have an easily identifiable or definable art style, which I've always sort of disliked about myself. Um, I wish it wasn't so personal. I always thought in the past, if my art was connected to a fan base or similar to a popular art style, I'd excel and be able to make a living off my art. Um, I've even considered changing my whole art style to succeed and do better. But just scrapping my art style and doing something else completely different than what I do now. Something easy to market to the public that doesn't make people think I'm depressed or creepy or unstable. But I think I'm all of those things sometimes. Against my better judgment as a last hope, I asked for shop reviews. Twice now, each time I've gotten conflicting feedback from other Etsy sellers. Um, they all sort of just suggest I'm the problem and that my art is too dark. They said it first was my photography, then it was my listings and the tags I used. Um, I don't know, they think I'm closed-minded, and I think I come off as negative, even though I think I've always been realistic. Um, they told me that my art style wasn't unique, and that there are tons, in their words, caps locks, tons, of artists with my art style. I don't think those sellers get art or art style. Not to be pretentious, but there's no way to say that. That doesn't sound pretentious. Etsy is a craft platform, not an art platform. So... I think it's hard to break into if you don't already have a large following and if your art is sort of already very niche granted i don't really even know what my niche is because people have suggested that i market all kinds of ways i've expanded my tags to include like all alternative subcultures goth metal i don't know like Whatever people suggested that I try, I've tried. Whether it was like punk, I don't know, like it's just all over the place. And, and I, I struggle with labels anyway because I don't really know what to make of myself either. Um, I've only made sales through ads and those ads were from people who hadn't favorited my shop or listing. So those sales I think were really just by chance because it was at the top of the search through the ads. My followers don't translate to sales or even really likes or that much engagement consistently. It's discouraging and I often feel it's not worth all the stress that it poses and like affects my mental health. Mailing things gives me a lot of anxiety and then the things that I have sold I don't get reviews on so not, it always worries me that I don't get feedback on things, even though I know it's not that serious, but it's just like I, that stuff is important when you have a small business, especially for people to know that like your service is legitimate and that you're like good at following through, I don't know. Um, I started selling stuff I didn't really have interest in, like stickers and t-shirts. And I know that that is good to profit from so many avenues from one piece of art. But I'd rather just sell prints and originals. And I've tried discounting sales, but it that doesn't have an effect either. And I know like I'm, you have to be patient and wait for those things, but it's, I just think about like abandoning all my accounts so often, like like just leaving them. Because like even just posting on it was like very draining and discouraging. I get a lot of like it's cool and 
that's, you know, any feedback I guess is sort of good feedback, but it discourages me more because that's not why I made it. I don't think people understand my art at all. Um, like I really admire the way people connect to Miriam Tilson's art, but I worry it's the relationship people have with artists like I guess Junji Ito where it's more like for the aesthetic, not for the work itself. They want cool points and there's no real substance behind the active engagement with the art. So I don't know, it's like what, what is the lesser of two evils? And it's just like I feel like when I present my art to people, it's like I'm an alien, speaking alien, you know, to all these people and they're just like, oh, that's cool, you know? I'm concerned that I'm asking for too much or that I'm taking it too serious because I've been told that before as well. And it's just like, I don't know what to make of anything. I want to believe it's just a phase because people say that as well, but I don't know. I keep getting like recommendations on YouTube and like on Instagram for other artists and their art vlogs and I see them prospering and I just feel like a watered down version of myself and a bad artist that people don't want. You know, I don't want people to see me as like this pessimistic person, but it's just, I feel like people want something other than me and what I have to offer. Like they want to be sold something and not connect to it themselves on a personal level, something individual like they want to know, like want to know immediately and like be told how to feel about something. I get like overwhelmed because I feel like there's a, a very large performative aspect of being an artist on social media. Like you're not just selling the art anymore, it's really like the lifestyle or the dream of it and I don't really have any of that stuff that other people have but I don't really desire it. I just would like to succeed in my own way. But finding my own way is turned out to be very difficult. I'm very critical of myself as is, and like how I post on social media, I worry about the natural growth and evolution of my art style, deterring people from connecting with my work. So my following is small. I can't tell if they actually care or not. And I ask myself if like the things I post are too out there. Should I title this this? Is this too much? I think it was last year, maybe the year before, I read Salvador Dot in um, I, I don't think I can pronounce his name correctly. Um, Jean, whatever, I'm just gonna go last name. Basquiat, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm not good at pronunciation. Um, but the art books by the Tashjian series. And, and Jean was the first, or Jean, it's probably Jean French, God, I'm horrible. <laughs> So he was the first artist that I like related to because he never really assimilated to the art world and he never thought too highly of himself or his work. He painted anything and everything that like he felt, you know. Granted, he had like a live fast, die young, live fast, die young mentality. Whereas um, Salvador Dali was born into like a different class, culture, and like status, and he excelled completely differently. And I was like, that was, I don't know, I kind of felt like he was the first person that artistically I've ever, ever sort of identified with, in a way. Um, the point is that I don't feel like the art world has really been meant for somebody like me, similar to Etsy and struggle. All of it nurtures like an unhealthy mentality that I'm never doing enough, even though I'm putting my all into it. And I've already expressed having like imposter syndrome, and I think maybe this is the reason. I don't know, I said, I just feel like there's a disadvantage or something. I don't know, like I, I feel like I have to lie or sell people something that isn't true. Um, I, I don't know if this encapsulates my whole experience, but those are sort of my thoughts right now. So, and this piece is sort of just a random, it's not really correlated to my words. This was something I had sort of sketched in my sketchbook. Thanks for watching if you did.